In Iraq, hundreds of Christians marched through the city of Dohuk in the country's Kurdish region to condemn the expulsion of Christians from Mosul. Christian families were forced to flee Mosul earlier this month after Islamic State militants ordered them to convert to Islam or pay a tax for practicing Christianity. Those failing to follow the order would face execution. The Dohuk protesters urged authorities in Iraq's autonomous Kurdish region to help displaced Christians and called on the international community to do more to protect them. Also in Iraq, buildings in Daluya were in ruins after military airstrikes targeted insurgents who control parts of the city. The city in Salah Adin province lies 50 miles north of Baghdad. Earlier this month, Iraqi forces dislodged militants of the Islamic State from parts of Daluya, but they remain in control of some government offices. In Russia, a ban on canned vegetables, fruit and fish imported from Ukraine went into effect. Russia's Consumer Protection Agency ordered the ban, saying that some labels on Ukrainian canned goods incorrectly describe their weight and nutritional content. Citing safety concerns, the agency imposed a ban last year on chocolates and other sweets produced by Roshan, the company owned by Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. In Turkmenistan, thousands of Muslims gathered at the largest mosque in the eastern city of Turkmenabat to celebrate Eid al-Fitr, the holiday that marks the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Muslims around the world observe the holiday with prayers, donations to the needy, and feasts to break the daytime fast of Ramadan. Some Muslims celebrated Eid al-Fitr on July 28th this year, while in other countries the holiday fell on July 29th. Muslims also celebrated in the Kyrgyz capital, Bishkek, where as many as 100,000 people gathered to pray in the city's main square. Government officials and diplomats took part in the prayers. Kyrgyzstan's Grand Mufti addressed the crowds, calling for peace and unity among Muslims. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.